All right, folks, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We are making a homemade mushroom rub. It's time to grill. I haven't recorded a video about homemade rubs for a longer time and I was always thinking that it has to be something completely special and spectacular to record another rub recipe. And today it's the day. Fall in Germany is the perfect time and the perfect weather for collecting mushrooms in the woods. My Facebook timeline and my stories are full of people who have been walking through the forest and collecting mushrooms. For today's video, one of my friends has done the same and gave me a whole basket of fresh mushrooms for this homemade rub idea. Unfortunately, it's pretty hard to find the right vocabulary for the different types of mushrooms, but for this one here today, we have a pochini mushroom. You might know these. I'm cleaning the mushrooms with a special mushroom brush I got on a local market and it's my favorite tool to clean mushrooms because they stay in shape and they get uh, cleaned very, very easy. There might be different ways of cleaning mushrooms, but this one is the way I prefer to do it. And of course, I speed this up a little bit for you. I have cleaned the whole basket of mushrooms with my mushroom brush. I would like to know, is there a mushroom season where you are watching this video? Please let me know in the comments. For me, that's the first time I've been cleaning this amount of mushrooms, but it's really, really fun to do and I had so much fun recording this video for you. I hope you enjoy it the same way than I do. After cleaning the mushrooms with the brush, we have to cut them. And of course, I just sliced them up. If there are um, pieces that don't look good, we cut these away. But this porcini mushroom is close to perfection. Due to the fact that we have a large amount of mushrooms to um, prepare today, I decided not to cut them too thin because we only have limited space in our food dehydrator. That's why I decided to cut them a little bit thicker and stick to a longer time of dehydrating. And again, I've speed this up a little bit for you and we are just cutting all the mushrooms we have today. The bigger one, the smaller ones, all mushrooms. And this is the first rack of my dehydrator. You might have seen them, this tool in my past videos. For example, for the beef jerky. I've used this a lot in the past and I really enjoy this one. You might have checked out the bacon jerky video, which was more or less recently. Okay, we are putting all the mushrooms on all the racks of our food dehydrator. If you want to buy a food dehydrator, make sure to have one with enough space. It's worth it. Of course, we were not able to cut all the mushrooms exactly the same size, but that doesn't matter. We are starting with the temperature between 55 and 60 degrees Celsius and start dehydrating for several hours. If you do a research in the web, you might find different ideas on how long to dehydrate those. And here is a short step um, after four or five hours. And I now change the order of the racks. You can see the one um, at the bottom is way far than the one on top. So I decided to change the order a little bit after five hours. I started in the morning and this is the result at 10 p.m. So approximately eight hours after starting the dehydrating process. And you can now take away several of these. The thicker ones might take two or three hours more but the smaller and thinner ones are already dried completely. Then I took half of the amount that was ready and put it in a food processor. Exactly, and this is the result 
of half of the basket we got in the beginning. That's not much, huh? But it's really, really tasty and it has nice flavor. And now we are ready to build the rub. So three tablespoons of that mushrooms, paprika, hot and sweet, garlic, salt and pepper. Of course, you will find the exact amount of the ingredients and the ratio in the video description. I have to apologize because you won't see me today eating one spoon of that rub uh, in front of the camera, but make sure to be here on Saturday. We are having a full video using this uh, mushroom rub really, really with an interesting uh, dish. So thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.